Hi, and welcome to the Lowe's Woodworkers Shop class, where this time we're building a fun book castle project that is a bookcase with a castle on top. It even has a working drawbridge, and you can build one too by visiting our website and downloading the measured drawings and detailed step-by-step -step instructions. So come on, let's get started. Now, in this video, we'll be building the main frame or carcass for our bookcase. It's made up of a top, a bottom, and two sides. So we'll fire up the trusty miter saw and cut those to length. And I know you probably already know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Anytime you work with power tools, safety first. Always wear eye protection and hearing protection. Now, I want to drill pocket holes in each of these side pieces using our pocket hole jig. And I want three holes in each end of each of the side pieces. After I do that, then I'm going to take glue and put it on all of the surfaces that meet. I like to use a, an acid brush or other small brush to spread the glue around. And I like to keep a, a rag or a cloth handy to wipe up any excess glue. After I do that, then I can put it all together using pocket hole screws. So, that's the main frame, but now we need a back for our bookcase. Now, the back is made of three center back slats and two end back slats. The center back slats, we can go ahead and cut to length on the miter saw. But the end back slats, first we have to rip to width on the table saw, then cut to length on the miter saw. Now, we can add some more pocket holes, and we're going to alternate their placement on all of the adjoining parts. Once we do that, we can attach everything together using glue and pocket hole screws. Now, because the front of our bookcase has a skirt with an arch design on it, I want to match that design on the back assembly of the bookcase. And I'll do that by transferring the pattern for the arch to the back assembly using a grid. Once I trace that design onto the back assembly, I can clamp it down onto our work surface and then cut the arch out with a jigsaw. There, now we can attach it all together. After I apply my glue, then I can attach the back to the top, bottom, and sides using nails. There we go. It's coming along very nicely, but Obviously, it needs some shelves, and this bookcase has two shelves. We can start by cutting those to length on the miter saw. Once I do that, I want to drill pocket holes on the underside of each of the shelves. Three on each end, and three in the back as well. After that's done, I can attach the shelves to the frame and the back assembly using glue and pocket hole screws. Join me next time when we'll add the skirts, the trim, and the nosing to our fun bookcastle project. I'll see you then. <laughs>